Welcome to Anaware's Simplify SAP Create It Now series. In this video, I am going to discuss how to create a VA01 transaction automation script that can handle long text and line items using Anaware's Process Runner technology. In this Excel template, I have two sales orders with multiple line items along with some line item long text that I want to upload to SAP. I am going to start by opening up Process Runner and selecting the transaction technology. I will enter the transaction code VA01 here and log into any SAP system from my SAP landscape. Process Runner officially works with SAP systems from 4.7 up to HANA and it supports single sign-on, enterprise portal, SNC, SSO1, SSO2, HTTP, and HTTPS authentication. Now I am taken into SAP to record my script. I will enter an order type of OR, sales organization of 1000, distribution channel of 12, and division of 00. On the next screen, I will enter a sold to party of 2200, a ship to party of 2200, and a PO number, and then I'm going to press enter. Now that I have recorded my header data, I need to record the line item data. As I have numerous line items, I am going to have to implement a loop. SAP usually pushes line item rows up as line item data is entered. Therefore, I am going to enter my data into the second row as the data will be pushed to the first row, leaving the second row open for additional data. I will enter the material number and order quantity in the second row and hit enter. As we can see, the data is pushed up leaving the second line open for more data, which allows for me to loop the line items later in Process Runner. However, before I save this recording, I need to enter the line item long text. To do so, I need to highlight the line item and select to display item details. From here, I want to navigate to the text. From here, I want to navigate to item note and click on details to enter the data. I will enter a line item text such as simple item note 1 and hit back. I will be asked to save the text and if I hit back one more time I'll be taken back to the overview. From here I can save the script. Once in Process Runner, I will need to attach the external Excel file in the Mapper tab. I want to loop the line items in the script. With Process Runner, loops are always implemented at the screen level as it separates the header and line item data. So I will start the loop at the screen before the material number field as that is where the line items begin. An end loop will automatically be added just before the last save screen. I need to set a block type and block value for this loop, which I can leave as on value ignore blank from column A. This will end the loop whenever the script encounters a value in column A. Process Runner adds a dynamic formula to split and append long text lines. I just need to set the character length for the text editor field. The default is 72, but we have found that 69 works best for this T code. At this point, I am finished mapping the script and can go to the Home tab to set a start row and an end row. I will just set the end row to 50 as Process Runner automatically stops processing after five blank rows. In order to run the recording, I must save this script and log into my SAP system. The SAP messaging lets me know that my standard orders have been created. Now, I can verify in SAP that the line items and long text were both successfully uploaded. I will open up SAP and run the VA03 transaction code. From here, I can enter the standard order number to view the overview. Here, I can see the four line items successfully uploaded. 
and if I double click one of the line items, I can navigate to the text screen to view the item note. Thanks for watching, and if you would like to learn more about how to simplify SAP, visit us at inawara.com.